Oh no, please don't cut me in half again. Why, hello there. Our friend Victor here is in the middle of a pretty tricky predicament. But how did he come to be sawed in half? Why, let me show you. Come on, come all, watch and be amazed as you enter Mrs. Mercaldi's magical mathatorium. First, I'll need a volunteer from the audience. Please, 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 please. You there? Come on up. Aww. Now, first we'll need to place you in the magical array box. How do you feel? Uh, pretty spotty. <laughs> That's perfect. See, I've turned our volunteer into an array. Uh, you know what? I, I don't want to be a volunteer anymore. Too late. Now look here. A perfectly ordinary looking array of seven rows of three discs. Okay, so that's seven times three. Aha, yes, but look again. I've shaded this normal array to show five times three. Hey, that's not magic. You just shaded five rows of three discs. Yes, but now with a wave of my hands. Oh, you just cut me in half. Oh, shh. You volunteered. I thought we were doing math. Now, down here, what do I have? My toes. You, you have my toes. But that's not all. What multiplication sentence describes this blue shaded part of the array? The blue section has two rows of three discs. So we write two times three equals six. And what do we have in the top section? I assume you mean besides my head, arms, and, and major organs? Oh, quit whining. How many threes are in our red array of five times three? Five rows of threes gives us five threes. And down here in the bottom blue half... You mean my legs. How many threes do we have? Aha! Two threes. And now for the big finale. I began with a normal array of seven threes. Yeah, back when my body was in one piece. And then I split off the top section of five times three. So in order to rejoin our parts, how many threes do I add to five times three to make this seven times three? In order to remake the seven threes, I will take this five threes and add two more threes. So seven threes is equal to five threes plus two threes. Yeah, yeah, which means seven times three is the same as five times three plus two times three. C can I go now? Not yet. In order to open the box, we must first find the total. We already have the totals of our two arrays. What are the totals of five times three and two times three? Five times three is 15. And 2 times 3 is 6. Now we join our two arrays back together. And what is 15 plus 6? 15 plus 6 equals 21, which means that 7 times 3 is equal to 21. Hey, whoa, my shirt says 21. Told ya I was magic. Now for my next trick. We'll look at this ordinary array of nine rows of three. Nine times three. Well, that can be tricky. But with one wave of my hands, poof, a new row appears. Now we have ten rows of three. Now, what does this array represent? Ten rows of three is ten times three. That equals 30. But what can we do to get us back to 9 times 3? 9 rows of 3 is 1 less 3 than 10 rows of 3. 10 threes minus 1 3. And what is 10 threes minus 1 3? 
We've made our tenth row disappear. And now we're left with 9 times 3 equals 27. See, I knew 9 threes was close to 10 threes and used that fact to find my answer. Now let's take a look at this one. 8 times 3. What is a good basic fact we can use to help us solve this? 8 times 3 is close to 10 times 3. And we already know 10 times 3 is 30. How many 3's do we need to remove or take away from 10 3's to get to 8 3's? We need to subtract 2 3's from 10 3's to get to 8 3's. 10 times 3 is 30, and 2 times 3 is 6. So, what is 8 times 3? 8 times 3 is 24. So today, we learned how to use our math magic to help us find answers. We can pull arrays apart to find easier pieces, or make new arrays appear to help us find basic math facts. Now for the grand finale. You are going to make these problems disappear.